Hey guys, what's up? It's Kevin Bruin, the fit rocket scientist here to teach you guys about the solar system. So, solar system, this is our sun, this is the star, this is at the center of it, all right? And we have eight planets currently in our solar system. So the first planet is Mercury, all right? Mercury is closest to the closest planet to the sun, and it's the fastest traveling planet around the sun. One year on Mercury is equal to about 88 Earth days. So it takes Earth about 365 days to go around the sun, it takes Mercury only 88 days. It's so close to the sun that if you were able to stand on the surface, it's scorching, you would die, it's not possible. But the sun would appear about three times larger than the sky than it does here on Earth. All right, moving on, our second closest planet to the sun is Venus. Venus is sometimes referred to as like Earth's sister planet. Um, it's just a little bit smaller, pretty much the same size, but it is scorching hot on the surface as well. A lot of pressure in here. It melts lead on the surface. It's so crazy. It's got some beautiful cloud tops though that you might be able to survive in, but on the surface, not so good. So then we move on. Now we have Earth, our beautiful home here. It's got water on about 70% of its surface. We've got an atmosphere, a magnetosphere to help us protect from solar radiation. And we have our moon. Our moon that orbits Earth about every 29 days that Earth goes around the sun. All right. And then we move to the last of our inner planets, which is Mars, the red planet. This is the one that everybody loves and talks about. We love this one more, but our Mars is a very close second. Um, it has ice at the poles, and there are. it is the only planet that is completely inhabited by robots right now. That's right, NASA sent multiple robots to the red planet. They've been there continuously for 20 years, as of 4th of July 2017 this year. And it is a smaller version of Earth. It's got less gravity, thinner atmosphere, um, but people want to go there because it would be closer. You could go here and possibly survive. We're at Venus. We, we, that's not happening just yet. All right. So then after Mars and in between Mars and the next planet is the asteroid belt. So there's tons of little rocks that are forming all around the sun in the asteroid belt. But once you pass through that, you get to the biggest planet in our solar system, Jupiter. It's got the big red spot right here. And this red spot, it's a huge storm that's been going for centuries. And it's approximately like two to three times the size of Earth. It is large. All right. It is so large and massive that it actually doesn't specifically orbit the sun. So the sun and Jupiter actually orbit a central point of their mass called the Berry Center, which is just off of the sun's surface. So the sun is orbiting this point. It wobbles a little bit. And Jupiter orbits that point as well. It's the largest planet in our solar system. This is the first of the outer planets and it is a gas giant. So it's just all big old ball of gas that's out there. Then after Jupiter we have the gem of our solar system is Saturn. It has rings around it. There are multiple rings. It's got a bunch of moons as well. And it is also a gas giant. All right and then after Saturn we move on to Uranus. Now what's really unique about Uranus is it has rings as well and some moons but it's actually, it looks like it's been hit on its side and it's spinning like a bowling ball. So all the other planets spin like this as they go around the sun. Uranus actually kind of spins like this. It's very strange, but very cool. We need to learn a whole lot more about it. After Uranus, you go to the last planet. It is Neptune. Here we go, Neptune. It also has a large storm that's going on. And a cool thing about Neptune is it also spins like this, but it rains diamonds on Neptune. The winds are faster than the speed of sound. There's insane pressure. And when it rains, it rains diamonds at Neptune. So those are the eight planets in our solar system. You might be saying, Kevin, what about Pluto? Pluto's a planet. Pluto was a planet. It got demoted in 2006 um, when the IAU, the International Astronomical Union, came out with a new definition of planet. But we have Pluto right here. There he is. He's a dog. Ah, but we also got an inflatable Pluto. So Pluto is a Kuiper Belt object. So now that we have increased our technology with telescopes and are able to look further out in the solar system and have had more time, we see another like asteroid belt that's outside of the outer planets. So Pluto has about 7% of the mass in its orbit. It's the largest, largest object in the Kuiper belt. Um, and it's just another belt that's out there full of a ton of rocks. So that's why it got demoted. But there's other things out there as well. So that is an introduction to our solar system with inflatable. So I hope you guys learned a few things. Click the thumbs up button if you like this. Click subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet. And leave a comment below if you've got any questions about the planets and I'll answer them for you. All right, everybody, take care.